The Jenkins dashboard is the main entry point for your Jenkins user interface. The dashboard primarily consists of a header, side navigation, an all view for your Jenkins jobs, a monitoring build section, and a footer. Next, let's take a closer look at each of these sections. The header includes breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are a secondary navigation, and they allow you to quickly navigate to specific pages within the current hierarchy. The Add Description text box allows you to add or edit some text to the Jenkins dashboard. The text can be a note, a reminder, or anything that can be useful to your team. Clicking on the Enable Auto Refresh link allows you to enable Auto Refresh feature. The Context Search box lets you search for content Jenkins wide. For example, you can easily search for a Jenkins job by just typing its name. Click Enter. The logged in user drop down displays information specific to the logged in user, such as the builds for the user any configuration options, custom views, and the user's credentials. The All View section lists every single job that's configured on the Jenkins instance. It also displays the overall state of each Jenkins job. The Jobs Table footer lists links to the legend of all the icons on the Jobs Table. Click on the link to view definitions for each of the icons displayed on the Jenkins Jobs Table. The Monitoring Build section provides overall visibility into your Jenkins job executions. The REST API link on the footer provides you with some basic information on how to use REST API to programmatically interact with Jenkins.